In the day's other news, the Federal Reserve. No confidence out there. The damage has already been done. How do we fix the Fed? Initially, the Fed was only supposed to be a lender of last resort. And so the Fed said, we're going to set this minimum reserve requirement. And they realized that they could use that to cause the money supply to expand and contract. So this is just one extra tool that they have commandeered to influence the money supply in the U.S. After World War II, and after all the nations of the world had gone off the gold standard, it was pretty chaotic. The United States Treasury was running out of gold at that point during the 1960s. So in 71, prices shot up stratospherically. So then we got the huge inflation. Now, who was the money printers? That was the Federal Reserve System. They've taken on all of these new mandates. And in order to accomplish all of these goals that they've taken on, they've had to amass all of these new powers. It is the most powerful and least understood institution in the country. It really is difficult to overstate how big this story is and how much it matters. The Fed has always used emergencies to expand their powers. This was a very bad day. It is going to fall on average people. They were late to the scene of this fire. Now, everybody's talking about a new currency in the world, and that's a big deal. It's going to come. The Federal Reserve, as it exists today, has a ton of power, and it would just be magnified tenfold, a hundredfold, with a central bank digital currency. And it's all based on lies, too, because people know that the government's lying to them about inflation.